You love Kara because God created the most beautiful thing that put it inside the hottest body. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too much? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you said she's a servant, and she knows how to truly love regardless of the circumstances, and she has such a high capacity to empathize with others and stay compassionate. And you wanted to marry her because God has called you both to serve, and you would serve God's kingdom best together. And then you wrote, on the paper, she said, let's do this for the rest of our lives. I was like, that's oh, that was so, so awesome. And Kara, here's what you said about Ben. You said you loved him because he makes you laugh, because he's patient with you and has a servant heart. He has an intentional spirit and is, in, and is intellectual. You said you want to marry him because he challenges you to be a better person, and you want to share life with him and because you make a great team. Two things that I keep hearing over and over again from you two and from others about two characteristics, and it's that you both have servant hearts and you serve really well, and that you make a great team. Talk about that all your life. You make a really good team. So, on the basis of your love and faithfulness and dedication that you so boldly proclaimed here tonight by the authority given to you by the city of Georgia, as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Those who've got us joined together, let no man separate. Then you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my wonderful privilege to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Addison Swilly. Girl. 